Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shea. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a cute flower crop top. So uh, if you're new to my channel, oh, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that you will love what you see and you will stay here with me. To my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for being here, guys. So I will show you my materials that I will be using. So I am using this acrylic yarn. It says... Uh, premiere uh just yarn and this is a size four i however though recommend using a cotton yarn but if you have acrylic go ahead and use your acrylic uh acrylic yarn so um this is what i will be using to show you how to make this top i have um my 4.0 millimeter crochet hook which i will be using this for the cup of the bra and I have my 4.5, which I will be using to make the flower part. So that's the bottom piece that would be attaching onto the bra. I have a stitch marker here. I have my darning needle and also my scissors. So guys, um, let's jump in the video. So guys, to begin, you will insert your hook and make a slip knot. So you can make your slip knot however you feel comfortable in making it. This is just the way how I make mine. So you're going to go ahead and chain chain away. So um, with this flower, it consists of the, well, the foundation is like 25 uh, stitches per flower. So I will be doing three flowers. So I will do 75 stitches. If you're doing um, four flower, then you will chain 100. And you can just continue adding 25, 25 um, to get to the width. Even if you're making it into a blanket or whatever, you will just continue to add 25. And then you add two afterwards for your turning chain. So I am going to go ahead and um, chain my 75. Once I am there, I will meet back up with you. So guys, now I have come to my 75 chains. Uh, if you want to know if this will be wrapping around your body nicely, you can go ahead and measure it around your um, upper area there. So now we are going to move on to add two more chains. So that equals to um, 77. So now what you're going to do is you are going to skip two chains and into the third one you are going to yarn over and make one double crochet and in each and every stitches along you will make one double crochet and i will meet you at the end so make sure that you have your 75 chains um when you are chaining so you can go ahead count your chain to see if you have 75 because you don't want to have less or more So guys, now I have come to the end of my stitches and this is what it looks like so far. So now moving along, you will go ahead and chain two. And that chain two does not count as a stitch. It's just there as a returning chain. So now you are going to start your first double crochet into this stitch here. And you are going to do six more double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and the last one, seven. So I'm just going to count back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to chain up two. You're going to skip two stitches, one, two, going to the third, and make a one double crochet. And into the next three stitches, you will make a double crochet. So you should have a total of four double crochet. That's three and four. There. So now you will chain up two and skip two, going to the third, make a double crochet, and make one double crochet in the next 16 stitches. So you should have a total of 17 double crochets here. So I'm going to continue doing that once I'm at the end of my 17. I'll meet back up with you. So now I have come to my 17th uh, double crochet here. 
So now we are going to make this again. So now you're going to chain up two, skip two, go into the third, make four double crochet, three and four, chain up two, skip two, go into the third, and make 17 double crochet. So you just repeat in this that we did before. So I am just going to continue doing that and I'll meet you there. So now I have come to my 17 double crochet here. Now I'm going to chain up two just as before, skip two, going to the third, make four double crochet. So now that I have four double crochet there, I'm going to chain up two again, skip two, going to the third, and um, you should now have 10 stitches remaining. So you're going to continue making um, double crochets going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is our first one. So I will meet you back here. So whether you're doing a uh, hundred um, stitches or whether you have a hundred stitches, you should always um, have 10 stitches remaining in your second row once you get to the end here. So this is what it looks like. So I will see you at the end. So guys, now I have come to the end here. I'm going to chain up two, turn your work. Into that first stitch, you are going to make one double crochet. And into the next six stitches, you're going to make one double crochet. So you should have seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So now that I have my seven there, we are going to chain up two. We're going to skip two, one, two, and into this double crochet, you're going to make one double crochet on top of that double crochet. You're going to yarn over and make two double crochet in this space. One, two, and then one double crochet on top of this double crochet. And then you are going to chain up two, skip two, make one double crochet on top of this double crochet. You are going to go into the space, make two double crochet. Then one double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Chain two. Skip two, so one, two, going to the third. And make one double crochet. And you're going to make one double crochet in the next 11 stitch until you have um, three stitches here. So continue making double crochets. So you should have a total of 11 here. And I'll meet you again. So now I have my 11 stitches here. You are going to chain up two. And you're just repeating what you did here. You're going to skip two, go into this first one here. Yarn over, go into the chain two space and make two double crochet. Make one double crochet on top of this double crochet. Chain two. 
skip two, one, two, go into this one and make one double crochet. Go into the space, make two double crochets. Make one double crochet on top here. Chain up two, skip two, one, two, and go into the third and make one double crochet. So basically you're repeating what we did here. So you're just going to repeat that until you get to the end here. Uh, once you are at the end, I'll meet up back with you once you're here. And I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to um, the end part here and I have my chain two. So we're going to skip two, make one double crochet here and one double crochet in the next three stitches. So you should have four double crochet at the end of row three. Now moving on to row four, you're gonna chain up your two, turn your work, yarn over, go back into that same stitch and make one double crochet. Now that you have your one double crochet, you're gonna chain up two, skip two, go into the next stitch and make one double crochet. You're going to go into the chain two space there and make two double crochet. Go into the next double crochet and make one double crochet. Now you're going to chain up four. And now you're going to do a treble crochet. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook twice. Go into that space and make a treble. So you're going to pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now you're going to chain up one, two, three, four. And you are going to go into this stitch here. And you're going to make a double crochet. You're going to go into the next space and make two double crochets. And then one double crochet in the next. And now that you have completed that, you're going to chain up two. You're going to skip two, go into the third. And this now has completed one set of your petal. Now you're going to move on to making your next one. So you're going to do five double crochets. So this is two, three, four, and five. Now we have three uh, stitches here. You are going to chain two, skip two, go into the next, the third stitch there, and make one double crochet. Now you're going to go into the chain two space and make two double crochets. Make one double crochet on top of this double crochet. And now you are going to chain up four, treble crochet into this space. chain up four, make a double crochet on top of this double crochet, two double crochet into the space, one double crochet on top, well I say on top but on this top uh, double crochet here, you're going to chain two, skip two, Go into the third and make five double crochet. So you're basically repeating what you did before uh, to make the set here and the set here. So repeat that, making five double crochets. You can rewind the video if you don't remember what to do. So continue doing that and I will meet you back once I am here at the end. 
So guys, now I've come back to the last part here and I chain up my two. We're going to skip two. And then you are going to double crochet into the next four stitches. So let's do three and four. So you should have four stitches remaining at the end. So this is what it looks like so far. So now moving along, you are going to go ahead and chain up two, turn your work. And now you are going to yarn over, go into that first stitch and make one double crochet. Chain two, skip two, go into the next, make one double crochet. One, two double crochet into the space. And then one in the next. You're going to chain up five. You are going to make a single crochet into the space here. Then one single crochet into the treble. Then one single crochet again into the space. Chain of five. You are going to double crochet into this double crochet here. Two double crochets. And then one double crochet in the next. And now you are going to chain up two. You have one, two, three, four double crochets here. You are going to chain one more. So you're skipping three double crochets. So chain up three, skip three. And into the fourth one, you will yarn over and make one double crochet. Into the chain two space, you will make two double crochet. Into the next one double crochet. Chain up two. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So chain up five. You are going to single crochet into this space here. One single crochet in the treble. So there it is. Just like we did here, we're doing the same thing here. You're going to chain up five. You're going to yarn over, going to the next stitch here beside the chain two. Two double crochet in that space. One double crochet in the next. You have three, you have four double crochets here again. So now you will chain up three, skip three, go into the fourth one and make one double crochet. And you're just basically going to repeat the same exact thing that we did here uh, on this side. So I'll see you when once we get here. So guys, now I've come back to the end here. I have my chain up five. Now I'm going to yarn over and make two double crochet into our space here. Then one double crochet into the last stitch. And we have three stitches uh, for the end of this row. So now moving on, you are going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this chain six is going to count as our turning chain and first double crochet. So now you are going to go into this big gap here and you're going to make one single crochet. You are going to go into this next single crochet and make one single crochet. You're going to go into the next single crochet and make single crochet. Into the next single crochet, another single crochet, 
and then into the gap you're going to make one single crochet you're going to chain up six you're going to skip all this so you're going to go into this um double crochet here in front of the sorry i should say at the beginning of the gap and make one double crochet and remember we did three chains here so now we're going to do three double crochet in that space and then one in the next there and now you are going to go ahead and chain up six again one two three four five and six make a single crochet here single crochet in the next single crochet in the next single crochet in the next and then single crochet into the gap so into this space now you are you are going to go ahead and chain up six one two three four five and six you are going to go into this double crochet here the one before the gap and make a double crochet and you're just basically going to repeat the same steps as you go along and I will meet you at the end of this last um, pedal here and I'll show you what to do next so remember in these gap here we are going to put three double crochet so rewind the video if you're not getting um, if you don't remember what to do or you can just simply look back at your pedal that you made before so there it is so now I have come to my end here and I have my chain up six. Now I'm going to yarn over and make my double crochet here into this um, double crochet before the space. And then you're going to put two double crochet into that space or gap. So you should end it off with four double crochets and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And that completes the row. So this is what it looks like. So now moving on, you are going to go ahead and chain up four. So that's one, two, three, and four. And uh, this chain uh, four is going to count as a returning chain and double crochet. So um, you are going to yarn over and you're going to skip one, two, three, and you're going to go into this double crochet here. And then you are going to make three double crochet. Into that space. Then you're going to chain up five. You are going to be doing a decrease here. So you are going to skip the first single crochet going to the second. And make one single crochet and one single crochet and one more single crochet you're going to skip the last one there and you're going to chain up five you're going to make three double crochet into the space one two and three one in the next you're going to chain up three one two and three you're going to yarn over and make your double crochet here i hope you're seeing that well and then you're going to put three double crochet into the space one two and three chain up five one two three four and five you're going to skip one single crochet going to the second and make a single crochet and another single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch remember we're leaving this one out then you're going to chain up five two three four five make three double crochet into the space 
if you think I'm going too fast guys you can always slow down the video but I will try my best to go as slow as I can and then you're gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch now that you have that you are going to go ahead and chain up three yarn over going to the next and make one double crochet and you're basically just going to repeat the same exact thing that we did my work looks a bit wonky i'm not sure it's bit, if it's because i am using um uh acrylic yarn to do my work but once you stretch it down like that it should be fine so anyhow uh moving along you can go ahead and repeat the same step as we did here down here and i'll meet you back so guys now i have come to the end part here and i have my five uh chains now i'm going to make three double crochet into the gap and then our last double crochet is going to be on top of our chain two here so just yarn over, insert your hook, and make one double crochet inside that stitch. And that completes this row, and you should have four stitches remaining. Now you're going to chain up two, and this will be our final row for the flower. You're going to yarn over, go into that first stitch, and make one double crochet. So you're basically um, repeating this um, row here where we did our treble crochet we're actually going to repeat that same thing you're going to chain up two skip two go into the next stitch here so the one before the gap and then you're going to make three double crochet into the gap you're going to chain up four you're gonna treble so you're gonna wrap your yarn around your hook twice that's one two insert your hook into the center of the, the the middle single crochet and make a treble crochet chain up four go into the next space and make three double crochet Make one double crochet into this double crochet here. Now we have three uh, sp uh, stitches here. We're going to chain up one, two, skip two, make one double crochet into the next. And then three double crochet into this space because we originally had three double crochet. Sorry, we originally had three chain up chains there sorry if i confuse you for a bit there so we have our three double crochet now we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch and we are going to go ahead and chain up two skip two one double crochet in the next three double crochet in the gap And then you're going to chain up four, treble crochet into that center single crochet, chain up four, and repeat the same thing. Put in three, double crochet into the gap, and then one in the next stitch. So that's two and three. And then one into the next stitch and that completes two flower there so continue doing the same thing uh, to the next flower and I will meet back with you so guys now I have come to the end here and I have my chain up two. let me just redo that so chain up two skip two going to the next stitch make one double crochet and then into the space you're going to make two double crochet 
and then into the chain up here you're going to put just as we did before you're going to put one double crochet into the top of the chain two and you should end up with four stitches and that completes the set of flower so this is what it looks like it's looking super cute so what i'm going to do is basically i am just going to do um what we did here where we had the three spaces down here i'm just going to add that to the top so that's actually starting another row for another set of petal if you want to go up or more rows but i will be only doing one row so now i am going to go ahead chain up two turn your work and make one double crochet into that space chain two you're going to skip one two going to the next and you are going to make two double crochets one two make one double crochet in the next stitch now you have three stitches here you're going to chain up two going to the stitch the double crochet before the gap and make one two double crochets and three double crochet now you're gonna put one in the gap sorry one in the treble crochet you're gonna put three in the next gap one into the double crochet chain up two skip two one single crochet sorry one double crochet and then two into the gap one double crochet into the next chain so this we have one two three and four so we are going to chain one two three and skip that and go into the next so we chain three skip three go into the next um, and make a double crochet and make two double crochet in the next gap and then one double crochet in the next we have three stitches here you're going to chain up two skip two go into that next double crochet make one double crochet and make three double crochets into this space so repeating back the same thing that we did before making three double crochets and then one into the um treble and then three double crochets so you're going to continue doing that right along until you get to the end and i'll meet you back there so that's one two three and then one here so there it is so i'll see you at the end so guys now i have come to the end here and i have my chain up two now i'm going to skip two make one double crochet into our next double crochet here and then we are going to make two double crochet into the space so you should end with four double crochet at the end we have two there now we're going to put our last double crochet into that last stitch and this is what it looks like so this part of the crop top is now completed it is looking super cute so now you are going to move on to make the bra so i'm just gonna chain one and fasten off so now we are going to move on to making the cup of the bra so i actually went ahead and i made 
one previously so this is what it looks like so this is like a size medium so i will link my other video where i made um uh, the bra top before so you can follow and make one in your own size so i will be using a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and uh, we're going to start off by making a slip knot so i'm going to make a medium size so i will be chaining 17 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now that I have my 17 chains, you're going to skip three, one, two, three, into the fourth stitch. You are going to yarn over and make one double crochet. So that chain three that we skipped is going to count as our first double crochet. And then you're going to make double crochet in the remaining stitches. Once you get to your last stitch, I will meet you back there and I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to my last stitch here and I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to put three double crochet in that stitch. So that's one, two, and three. Chain up two. Go back into that same stitch and you're going to make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. And into each and every stitch, make sure that you're bringing your tail end with you so you can weave that in as you go along. You're going to make one double crochet in those stitches until you get to the end and I'll meet you back there. So now we are going to move on to making the cup of the bra. So I actually went ahead and I made one previously. So this is what it looks like. So this is like a size medium. So I will link my other video where I made um, uh, the bra top before. So you can follow and make one in your own size. So I will be using a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. And uh, we're going to start off by making a slip knot. So I'm going to make a medium size. So I will be chaining 17. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now that I have my 17 chains, you're going to skip three, one, two, three, into the fourth stitch. You are going to yarn over and make one double crochet. So that chain three that we skipped is going to count as our first double crochet. And then you're going to make double crochet in the remaining stitches. Once you get to your last stitch, I will meet you back there and I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to my last stitch here and I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to put three double crochet in that stitch. So that's one, two, and three. Chain up two. Go back into that same stitch and you're going to make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three and into each and every stitch make sure that you're bringing your tail end with you so you can weave that in as you go along you're going to make one double crochet in those stitches until you get to the end and i'll meet you back there So now I've come to my last stitch and that is where we did our, where we skip our three stitches there. We're going to yarn over and go into the end of that stitch and make one double crochet. And now you are going to chain one, turn your work and continue making double crochets. So once you get to your chain two space there, you are going to yarn over and make 
two double crochets, chain up two again and make two double crochets. And that's how you're going to continue to increase your rows. And I am going to go up to um, seven rows. Uh, if you want, you can um, measure your cup to your on on yourself, so you'll be able to um, know what your size would be like. But if this cup is big enough for you, then you can just follow the same steps. If it's, if you want it to be a little bit bigger, you can add more rows or less. But I will be going up to seven rows. And once I am at my seven rows, I will meet back up with you. That's, so now I'm back into my chain tool here. I'm going to put two. So that's one, two, chain up two. Go back into that same space and make two more double crochets. And then continue making double crochets right around. Chain one and turn your work and start another row. And your rows are count um like this like from here to here going onward so let me just show you on this cup so each row that goes around and come back down that's one row so you will count like one two three four five six and seven and this is my last row where i did some um single crochets so that's how we're going to finish off our bra by doing some single crochets at the end for the last round so I'm going to continue doing that and I'll meet you at the end. So guys, now I have come to the end of making my cup here and I'm just going to do my last two double crochets. And this is what my cup looks like. So it is looking identical as the first one that we made before. Well, that I made before. Now you're going to chain up one and you are going to go into this double crochet here. And you're going to make a single crochet and you're going to be making single crochets right across until you get to this part here and i'll meet you there so i will let you know how much single crochets i actually um put into this part here so where you have a double crochet you will work a single crochet inside of that double crochet so you don't have any gap in between So I'm just going to continue doing that and I'll meet you there. So guys, now I've come to my end part here and I'm going to do my last single crochet into the end part here. And I have a total of 18 single crochets. So make sure that you write down any amount of stitches that you get on this side. Uh, so that you will put the same amount on the other bra. So now we are going to chain one, two, three, and four. And we are going to get our next bra. So I did went ahead and I attach my strap to that. And we are going to go into the first single crochet here. Let me just use a smaller hook to help me out. Okay, so that's my first uh, single crochet. So remember we have 18 on this side, we're gonna have 18 on this side as well. So that's the first one, we're gonna go into this one here and make another one and just continue making your single crochets as you go along. And I'll meet you at the end. So guys, now I have come to the end here and I'm going to make my last single crochet right at the edge. 
So that completes my uh, single crochets. I'm just chaining one and fastening off. So we can weave that in afterwards. So this is what uh, our bra looks like. So now we are going to go ahead and attach our yarn here to make the next drop. So insert your hook and you're going to pull it through like this. Make sure that you have enough tail end so you can weave in. And then you're going to chain one, give it a tie. And then you can chain up 175. So once I am done making my chains, I will meet back up with you and I'll show you um, how to finish off this edges here. So I actually went ahead and I did some single crochets here on this side. So I will show you how to um, do that. So I will meet you back once I'm done. So guys, I realized that I was actually using my 4.5 hook uh, when I was doing my chains and my single crochet around here. So I had to redo that part. So I hope that you don't make that mistake uh, but as I did uh, using the hook. But, you know, I am making this for myself. So everything should be good. Anyways, uh, so now we are going to fasten off. Let's just chain one. And that part is now completed. So moving along, I'm just going to put this aside for now. And we are going to move up to our bra. So remember we fasten off when we had finished making this part here. So what I did was to rejoin my yarn and chain one and then start making single crochets down. So I make my single crochets at the edges of this part here. So um, I did a total of one, two, three and four rows of single crochets um, over. And then I actually did this part coming down here. So I go up, single crochet up, single crochet down, single crochet up, then single, single crochet down. And then I did the um, this part here. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to do some single crochets along the bottom part here. And I will redo this part and let you see on camera. So... Now that I am at the bottom part here, I am just going to chain one and then continue making single crochets. So I'm going to make one single crochet on top of my single crochet here. So that's one. I'm going to go into this one here and make one into this part here. I'm not going to go into the old, into this little hole here. I'm just going to kind of go into the stitch. And make a single crochet. And we are going to chain, sorry, we are going to um, weave this tail in as we go along. So make a single crochet there. And into each and every stitch so you can see them. You will make one single crochets and don't make your tension too tight because you don't want to pull up onto this part here too much You're just gonna take your time and make your single crochets so into each and every stitch make a single crochets right across and I'll meet you at the end so guys, now I have come to the end here where we're going to work up some single crochets up to the side here. And we're going to do four rows of single crochets up to the side. So we're going to chain one. And we are going to go into this first uh, part here. And we are just going to make single crochets right up to the side. Just going to do it just as we were doing it before. 
um, making single crochets in between and not making a hole into your work. So the same amount of single crochet that you have on this side, you should have on the same side. So make sure that you write it down. So I'm just going to continue doing my single crochets until I get to this part and I'll meet you back there. So now I have come to my last single crochet here and I have a total of 17. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and I'm going to go back down with my single crochets. No single crochet into the first one there. And continue doing that until you get to four rows of single crochet. Remember to chain one and turn your work and start a new row. So this is our second row. We have two more rows to go. So I'll see you at the end. So guys, now I have come to the end of my five rows of single crochets. Now I'm going to chain up one, two, three, and I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth one, I'm going to make a single crochet. Chain up three, one, two, three. Skip one, two, three, into the fourth one, we're going to make a single crochet. Chain up three, one, two, three. I'm going to make a single crochet, one, two, three, into the fourth one. Chain up three, one, two, and three. One, two, one, two, three. And into the fourth one here, we're going to make a single crochet. And then make one single crochet because I have one stitch here. I'm just going to make one single crochet there to finish off and this is what it looks like so this is where we're going to put our loops for the back of the bra so i'll see you there so guys i chain one and fasten off here and this is the front well this is the back part of our work here and this is the front so what we are going to do is we are going to now attach our bra onto this part here. So make sure that it is on the side that you want it to be on. So let me just check this. But this is the wrong side. Well, sorry, this is the right side for me here. And this is the left side okay so this is the right side so you want to now go ahead and pin your work onto your bra so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch stretch this and we want to make sure that it is even on both sides so we have the same amount here and here so i'm going to go ahead and search for that part and i'll meet back up with you so guys, this is what it looks like when I pin the bra onto the bottom part here. And what I did is I measured three inches from here to here and three inches from here to here so that they are both on the same side. And this is the right side and this is the right side for the bra as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and we will be sewing down the bra on the wrong side here. So when we sew this part, it will be nicely attached. So you can use your darning needle to sew this part down, or you can use um, your hook to do slip stitches um, right along. So I think I'm going to use my hook to do the slip stitches. So I'm just going to remove this stitch marker here. And make sure that I go into this part and this part here. Make sure that you're going into both loops on each side. 
and then you can use your hook to do your slip stitches. So I just do a tie there and I'm going to just um, go ahead and make slip stitches on each side of the bra. So as I stated, if you want to use a needle to do this, you can do that, but I think it's more quicker when you use your hook. So I'm going to just use my hook to do it. So I'm going to continue doing this until I get to this part here and I will meet you back there. So guys, now I have come to the end part here and I'm just going to finish finish off my sewing here. And I'm going to chain one and then fasten off. So this is what it looks like on the wrong side where we sew. And this is what the right side looks like. So you can see it is nicely sewed down on both sides so this is what the bra the bottom part of the bra looks like so we're just going to turn it around like this and you are going to lace up your um crop top here but before you actually do so you can go ahead and weave in all your tail ends uh, i will do that and i'll meet back up with you so let me just show you how to weave in your tail end if you're not familiar with doing so so what you can do is now that I have my tail in here I am basically just going into the stitches like losing the tail end inside these little part here making sure that it is not going on the right side and once you have weaved in enough, then you can just go ahead and cut that part off. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll meet you back up. So guys, this is what uh, the back part of our bra, our, our crop top looked like. So you can see it fold up uh, back this way and you can just pull it back. So I am just going to show you how to lace it. So I am going to do it in the X style. So we're going to put it like this. So we are going to go into the loops that we made. Making sure that your work is not twisted. And then you're going to lace on the other side. And then lace on the other side again. And then the last one here. So this is what it looks like and then you just go ahead and tie the back of your work so uh, this is what it looks like so guys I hope that you love how this little tutorial here turned out uh, thank you so much for watching I will show you what it looks like on the mannequin uh, thank you so much for watching again until next time guys bye